सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस लेक्चर सीरीज सो टिल नाउ वी हैव सॉल्व सॉरी वी हैव कंप्लीटेड थ्री वीडियोज ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस टू वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू ऑल द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड टू ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन ऑर्डर टू रेड्यूस हाउ टू रेड्यूस द सर्किट्स बिटवीन द टू टर्मिनल्स आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इट सो इन दिस सेशन नथिंग मच वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद टू टू मोर different kinds of circuit and we are going to see how the circuit is uh, or the network is reduced between the two terminals again the same question as the previous one that is you should be getting one voltage source along with one resistance between the uh, along with one uh, along with the, the resistance between the terminals a and b okay this is the this is very simple circuit guys okay i am starting off the session with one simple circuit and the second problem is very tough okay so listen to it very carefully so this is the first sum so here this is the circuit here we have 10 ampere 2 ohm 12 volt voltage source 2 ampere current negative this is we can say that this is minus 2 ampere of current 4 ohm resistance and this here we have one single branch of minus 2 ampere of current so how to reduce it so first reduction part is this two part here so we can convert these two along with one voltage source in series so that this all these components should be coming in one single branch in series right so that is you should be reducing it that is here this is the arrow head is upwards so plus minus and resistance value won't be changing 2 ohm and this 12 volt you keep it as it is so here again this is the downwards so minus plus and this 4 ohm keep it as it is and here we have one separate branch of 2 amperes between the terminals a and b so now the uh, values of these two voltage sources are v is equal to i into r right 10 ampere into 2 ohm that is 20 volt and here we have 2 ampere into 4 ohm that is 8 volt so here these three voltage sources you should be adding at them up and you should be converting it to one single voltage source and these two resistances that is 2 ohm and 4 ohm we should be converting it to one single resistance by adding them up because they are they are in they are in series right so do that so i'll do it here that is so here we have these two have same polarity and this is different so add these two first that is 20 plus 12 it is 32 and 32 minus 8 because these have different polarity so 32 minus 8 is 24 with the with this polarity because this is the greater so whenever we add this we would be getting 32 volt with plus minus polarity which is the greater one so that's why you should be keeping that so this is plus minus 24 volt and 2 plus 4 is 6 ohm right then we have this 2 ampere this you keep it as it is along with the terminals a and b so now further reduction is very simple again this branch is there right convert it to one current source with parallel resistance that is see the polarity plus minus so arrow head arrow head would be upwards and this resistance in parallel 6 ohm keep it as it is and this would be downwards 2 ohm this is a this is b so the value of this uh, current source is i is equal to v by r that is 24 by 6 4 amps and this is 2 amps so here we can see that 4 amps and 2 amps these two are in parallel again we can uh, subtract them because the direction is opposite and here this is the greater sign so this direction should be keeping after we reduce it to the single current source so that is 4 ampere minus 2 ampere is 2 ampere and the 6 ohm resistance keep it as it is along with the terminals a and b now they have told us to reduce it to one single voltage source and single resistance final step again convert this to voltage source with series that is the arrow head is upwards plus minus along with the resistance 6 ohm a b so that is v is equal to i into r 2 amps into 6 ohm that is 12 volt so this is our final answer so in this way by using source transformation we have reduced this uh, simple circuit hope this is clear okay so copy this problem down very easy problem 
so let's get to the second problem that's a very tough problem okay let's get to that question now so this is that question here again this uh, the agenda is uh, the same thing which i have solved previously that is between the two terminals we should be reducing it to one single voltage source and single resistance okay so this here we are having many components here you should be uh, solving this very carefully okay again analyze the circuit and see where we can reduce the part where we can reduce our uh, uh, components so in the first step we can see that we can reduce the components in this branch here here because here all of them are in shunt but here these two are in series so in order to make them in shunt or in parallel we should be converting this voltage source into a current source and along with the same resistance we can set then we can reduce it by adding the current sources and the resistances in parallel and here in this branch here you can see that this current source is single and these two resistances are in parallel so we can convert it to a single resistance and don't touch this 3 amp and uh, 3 ampere and 5 ampere uh, for now okay first do the reduction i'll write the reduced circuit now so here this is the first reduced circuit where i've written so this I have not touched, I have kept it as it is 3 amps, this also 2 ampere, 2 ohm. So this value would be changed now, so the direction is minus plus, so arrow head would be downwards and the value is I is equal to V by R, 4 ohm, 4 volt by 2 ohm, that is 2 ampere and this 2 ohm resistance as it is. So here we have 1 ampere, 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 5 ampere, okay. Now reduce the part that is these two we should be subtracting because we have negative di directions 2 ampere minus 2 ampere that would be 0 ampere and we have here 2 ohms and 2 ohms in shunt so that would be 2 into 2 by 2 plus 2 that is uh, 4 by 4 that is 1 ohm okay the same here also you should be doing again the values are same 2 ohm 2 ohm the, this also would be reduced to 1 ohm okay so that is write the reduced circuit here now 3 ampere, this is uh, fixed and draw the outward the, uh, like this in order to so if you, you won't be getting confused then this is now converted to one single current source the direction won't be in the picture because the current is 0 ampere the current is nullified ok then we have here we have 1 ampere as it is so here this would be convert this resistance would be converted to one single resistance that is one ohm. This also would be converted to one ohm. And here this phi ampere. Right? So here we can see that in this line here we have one zero ampere current. Okay. So this won't be coming into picture. So that's why this line also won't be existing to this picture because this current is only not there flowing here. So this current source also you should be cancelling it out. So that's why reduce that uh, current source and write it uh, like this. That is this is 3 ampere. Then here write this 1 ampere in uh, one single separate branch. Along with that this 1 ohm and 1 ohm, you should be writing it in series along with the 5 ampere A B ok, hope you understood this part because there is no current here, 0 amps so that's why this branch only would be getting cancelled out so that's why I have converted this to one single branch and this branch is not there so that's why these two now would be in series 1 ohm and 1 ohm so that's why now what it would be 3 ampere 1 ampere so these two are in series so this is 2 ohms and this is 5 ampere 3 1 5 so again this uh, 3 currents are in parallel we can convert it to one single current so that is these two have same directions 3 plus 1 is 4 4 and 4 we should do the subtraction uh, so this is one complex part I will reduce this and write first that is 3 plus 1 is 4 so this is 4 ampere and here we have the resistance 2 ohm and here we have 
फाइव एम्पियर राइट वाई आर नॉट डन टूगेदर बिकॉज हियर वी हैव द फाइव एम्पियर नेगेटिव करेंट ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट वन इज फोर एम्पियर एंड वन इज फाइव एम्पियर अगेन नाउ यू नो दैट वी शुड बी सब्ट्रैक्टिंग बट वॉट बाय वॉट वी शुड बी सब्ट्रैक्टिंग दैट इज द ग्रेटर करेंट बाय द लेसर करेंट वी शुड बी सब्ट्रैक्टिंग ओके वेन एवर वी हैव इन दिस केस सो दैट्स वाई इन दिस केस द ग्रेटर करेंट इज फाइव एम्पियर सो यू शुड बी डूइंग फाइव माइनस फोर एंड द ग्रेटर करेंट साइन दैट इज द ग्रेटर करेंट पोलैरिटी वी शुड बी कंसिडरिंग इट टू द पिक्चर दैट इज फाइव माइनस फोर इज वन एम्पियर विद द डाउनवर्ड करेंट सो दैट्स वाई This should be one ampere. If you do it directly, also see four minus five. Four minus five is minus one. Minus one uh, current values would won't be negative. That is why we have written one ampere with the downward direction. That is the negative polarity. Then two ohm resistance between terminals A and B. Finally, reduce it to a single voltage source. See the polar uh, direction. That is uh, minus plus. So minus plus. Then This two ohm resistor as it is, A, B. The value of this voltage is V is equal to I into R. One into two is two volt. Okay. So this is our final reduced part. That is two volt along with two ohm. Okay. So this is the whole problem here. This problem looks complicated, right? But if you solve it step by step by analyzing from where we should be starting the problem, the problem would be very easier. So you see here, this is the way I've done the problem here. Okay, this part you should not be getting confused because you see here three plus one is four. Four we have here one more negative current, but this is the greater current here. If when we add these two currents, the value is four, but a five is greater. So that's why the greater number we should be subtracting with the lesser number. You should be keeping in mind, and the greater current value you should be writing, considering uh, greater current polarity you should be considering into picture. Should be checking that. Okay. So in this way, I have reduced this circuit and solved, and this is the final answer which we have got. That is two volt and two ohm. Okay. So hope this problem is clear to you guys. Okay. Watch all of my previous videos if it is not clear. Like, share, subscribe to our channel, guys. Your like would be motivating us a lot. And uh, till now we have covered uh, four videos, two videos related to the basic concepts and two videos related to the problems of source transformation. and from the next uh, video we are going to start with one more concept that is source shifting okay what is that source shifting i'm going to tell you briefly in the next session so for for this session now that's all so copy this problem guys pause the video and refer it okay so all the best uh, for all the backlog students uh, do well in the exams and try to pass like our video guys thank you